Hi everyone, how are you today? Today we are going to discuss another question regarding MRCS, which will be very helpful for your preparation for MRCS exam. Here the question, the question is, a six month old child is brought to the surgical clinic because of non-descendant testes. What is the main structure that determines the descent path of the testicles a we can see here uh, the six month old child brought to the surgical clinic because of the non descendant testis but in the later part uh, they denotes that what is the main structure that determines the descent that determines the descent path of the testicle that means testis for the descent which structure involved that means which of the structure is responsible for descent of the testis so here the options options are processus vaginalis cremasteric muscle majorcium inguinal canal and gobernicolum so among the five options which structure is responsible for descent of the testis in the scrotum so we have to find out one of the option which is responsible for descent of the testis here we can see the pathway of the testis we can see here this is the uh, gonads that means in case of male it will be converted into the testis so first of all it present in the posterior abdominal wall then it gradually start descend here we can see it is gradually descending descending uh, the descending and finally it reaches in the scrotum so descent of the testis it uh, starts uh, from eight week and gradually it descended and up to the eight or nine lunar month it descend into the scrotum so here is the normal pathway of the descent of the testis in case of this baby the descent of the testis is not completed and we have to find out which of the structure we can see here uh, the one structure is connected to the testis here here we can see uh, uh, structure the fibrous structure is connected to the testis here also so we have to find out the name of the fibrous structure here we can see this is the uh, primary station of the testis uh, that means it lies now in the posterior abdominal wall and we can see it is the testis here uh, sorry it is the scrotum and here is the testis testis uh, has to uh, descend in the scrotum and we can see the fibrous structure from here to here uh, up to the top of the scrotum here is the fibrous structure and this fibrous structure is responsible for descent of the testis we can see this fibrous structure from here lower part of the testis and at the bottom of the scrotum there is a fibrous structure and this structure is responsible for descent of the testis so in the second picture we can see this fibrous structure is gradually uh going smaller going smaller and broader and it uh, pulls uh, the scrotum towards the it pulls the testis towards the scrotum and in the third picture we can see the testis is very close to the scrotum and here the fibrous structure which pulls the testis here and in the fourth picture we also can see here the testis is now in the scrotum at uh, it is final destination and the fibrous structure here it is gets very very smaller and it contracted it is minimum part so here uh, first of all test is present at the posterior abdominal wall then it gradually descend by the help of this fibrous structure and this fibrous fibrous structure uh, contract gradually and it gets smaller and finally uh, the testis 
from here finally it descend in the scrotum so in this picture uh, here is the testis you can see in the posterior abdominal wall and we can see the normal this fibrous structure here and here this name this is gobernicolum so gobernicolum is the structure which causes uh, which is responsible for descent of the testis and testis gradually descend down and finally it descend in the scrotum in the second picture we can see the testis is uh, more closer to the scrotum from and away from the posterior abdominal wall so it here the black structure this black structure is gobernicolum of the testis and it attached to the scrotum be, uh, bottom of the scrotum and it gradually contract here we can see the gobernicolum the black black structure it gets more smaller and it pulls the testis into the scrotum and it is the final picture here the testis uh, primarily it present here and now it is present in the scrotum and the gobernicolum here the black structure the gobernicolum is very small now so here we can see the gobernicolum the gobernicolum is now very very smaller so testis uh, primarily present in the posterior abdominal wall finally descend in the scrotum by the help of gobernicolum of the testis here we can see the gobernicolum in the another picture here we can see the gobernicolum which lies at the base of the or bottom of the uh, scrotum and it connects with the testis and this gobernicolum were very long like this initially testis was here and it was pulled down and into the scrotum so here our final answer is gobernicolum of the testis and the gobernicolum it determines the descent of the path of the testis other structure we can see the uh, processes vaginalis the processes vaginalis usually uh, travel uh, down with the testis but it is not responsible for descent of the testis on the other hand we can see the cremasteric muscle cremasteric muscle uh, it is uh, responsible for contraction of the scrotum and it maintains thermoregulation but it is not responsible for the descent of the testis and it is a part of the scrotal wall major uh, major uh, orchium it is not responsible and inguinal canal inguinal canal is a pathway is a pathway of the descent of the testis and it has no role on descent of the testis so uh, here is the question and answer today thank you all stay tuned with us thank you